Gosh, Ron, you don't have to complain so much. He's complaining so much. Welcome back, everybody, to the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2 Let's Play. This is part 4, and we finished Diagon Alley in the previous part, part 3. And we were now just on our way to Hogwarts, but we crashed into the Whomping Willow. So we are now in the level, the Forbidden Forest. Yeah, the Forbidden Forest. Um, so, um, yeah, I just got hit. <laughs> See, so, um, this level is hated by many people that have played this game. It isn't the best of levels, it really isn't. It actually is quite annoying, to be perfectly honest. But this isn't the first, this isn't the only time you are in the Forbidden Forest in this game. You actually go to the Forbidden Forest, um, a second time in the game so you will be in the forbidden forest a total of two times in this game and this is the first time so um the second time is even more annoying than this one so you know it's okay it is quite annoying and i actually do get hit like a lot of times in this video i actually got a bit shocked when i was recording this because i noticed that i got like hit a lot and I don't really have, I usually don't have a problem with this game at all because I have played this game so many times in my childhood and stuff like that that I was actually quite shocked that I had so much problems with um, this part right here. It was this part because you have to throw this, what's it called, a puff pot or something like that, I don't know. You have to throw it away and then you have to slide along here but I had a lot of problems with sliding along this edge. I don't know why, but I actually did. And yeah, it was quite annoying. But I think the reason... I, I, did, I have played this game many, many times, but it's been like years and years since the last time I played it. So I think that is the reason why, because um, yeah, there's it's been so long since I've played this game haven't played it in like years so I believe that's the reason why I failed so much with that and also these branches just coming out of the gr ground just hitting you they are also quite annoying and we will meet them later on as well which is sad because I do hate those plants they are very very annoying they really really are but yeah um, if you're having problems if you have low health there are health things in the bushes as well as birdie bots every flavor beans so just fipendo the bushes and you will be able to get some health and also there are many chests around here in the forbidden forest with chocolate frogs in them so um of course they fill, the chocolate frogs fill your health up to the top so of course you will have full health when you get a frog and there are actually many frogs in the Forbidden Forest. So there are many opportunities to get health in the Forbidden Forest. There's actually also a Wicked Well potion. And we already have a full Wicked Well potion. So if you run out of that, you can actually fill it up as well. So hopefully you won't have much problems finding ways to get health again after you've been hurt. Hurt, not hurt. It's hurt. If you do get hurt, that is. I'm not saying that you will get hurt in this level I got hurt. That does not mean that you will get hurt. I was just talking about the chocolate frogs and here is a chocolate frog. So um, the Forbidden Forest is kind of split into, what is it, four parts or something like that. This is the first part. 
And now we're going through this part and into the second. The fourth part is different from the other parts. You will see what I mean by it's split into parts. Just different things happen in each part, you know? So yeah. And every one of the parts is split by these crawl spaces. So you have to crawl through those spaces to get to the different parts. So we have just got locked in. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but we're trapped because of logs and trees and branches falling down. So you can see that there's a health bar for the imps down in the bottom right corner. Just hit as many imps as you can. There's many imps here. And bring that health bar down to the bottom. And then something will happen when you do that. Um, yeah, I was going to say something, but I can't really remember what it was. And it seems I'm having problems hitting this. Oh, I hit it. That's good. So, the health bar is at the bottom right now. Now you just have to wait for a, a loud sound. There we go. And here is an imp holding a puffer pod, if that's what it's called. Hit the imp and that puffer pod, if that's what it's called, it will destroy the trees. And this tree will also roll down, or is it a log, whatever you want to say, it doesn't really matter. It will roll down and that will basically be what helps you to get places. And here's a wizard card. There are like, um, I think there's around two wizard cards in the Forbidden Forest, in this part. We will find them all, that is the first one. We're going to go over to this side. I don't think there's much interesting things on this side though. But we'll go over here and have a look. There's a chest up here. I think there's only a chocolate frog in it though, but we'll open it anyways. Just do a look. Yeah, it's a chocolate frog, but collect it if you want to. I did have full health apparently though, so yeah. Um, let's cross this log again and um, let's go over to the other side. Over here. We have to go there where you can see the puffer pods. Again, if that's what they're called. Just make your way over here and you're, you're going to slide your way along here. Right over here. I actually do think I have to be honest and say that the Forbidden Forest actually looks quite nice in this game. I think it does, anyways. I think it looks quite nice. But there are like, um, you know, invisible walls in the Forbidden Forest, so you can't walk wherever you want to. But I do think the forest looks quite nice. So that's a positive thing. So go over here and you can see that there's an owl stand, so you, you can call Hedwig. And she, will, she won't do a favor for us, but she'll give us a message. You can pause the screen if you want to and read this, but what it says is that at night there are guy trashes patrolling the grounds. And what are guy trashes, you might ask? These are guy trashes. They're like they look like dogs or wolves or whatever, and you can beat them with the Luma spell. You just have to put the Luma spell up, just do a strong one, and then just point the light at the guy trashes. So this isn't the first time you've met guy trashes. It's the first time you've met them in this game, but you did actually meet them in Froth's Stone on the PlayStation 2. But this is actually the first time that you meet the guy trashes because as some of you might know this game chamber of secrets on the playstation 2 was released before the fluffs of stone because this game was um, released in 2002 and the fluffs of stone game on the playstation 2 was released in 2003 
And then Prisoner of Azkaban on PlayStation 2 was released in 2004, I believe. So they just did a remake of the Philosopher's Stone. So this game was released before Philosopher's Stone. So I know that there's a lot of people saying that this game is very similar to Philosopher's Stone. It's actually the opposite. Philosopher's Stone is similar to this. So you can't really say that because this game was released before Flaws of Stone on the PlayStation 2, so I'm just pointing that out. Telling you guys that might not know that, because this game was actually released before Flaws of Stone. That's just a fun fact. So this is the third part. There's nothing happening here except for a lot of imps, puffer pods, and also Wiganweld, which is right here. Now don't be as me and just try to fill it up, you actually have to get your Wicked Well potion while out and then you have to drink it like this. Now I have full health and then you have to fill the vial up and press the cross button, not the circle button because that's the not the right button. And now you can fill it up. You're going to need this, you might need it, because we're going into the fourth part now of the Fibrin Forest. And the fourth part is a boss battle. Yeah, it's a boss battle against the Whomping Willow that is actually quite fun. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is just wait around here until the hand does that. And you can see that there's a point on the hand, like a button you can hit. And after you've done that, you can cause the pendo at the Whomping Willow's eye. And that is basically what you're doing. Watch out for these two arms because they will try to hit you. But the weak spot that you have to hit is on the hand and that will um, make it so that you can shoot the pendo at the Whomping Will's eye. If you understand what I mean, I hope you understand how this boss battle works. Shoot the hand, then shoot the eye. And that's basically it. That's the whole boss battle. And that's everything that you do in the boss battle. And Hedwig will eventually sometimes fly past and she will drop health and she will drop birdie bots every flavor beans as well. So that's good, you can collect some health and also get beans. And beans, as I've said many times before, is great to collect because you're going to need it to buy things at Fred and Georgia's shop in Hogwarts and we will actually go to that shop in the next part. Yeah, we will. It's a nice shop, so it's good that we're going there. Even though we can't really buy too much now because we only have 50 beans and we don't have the other birdie bots every favorite beans carrier bag, which helps you to carry more beans. Because you can only carry 50 beans now, which is not enough. Because there are things in the shop that cost more than 50 beans, so we need a bigger bag to carry the beans. But now, let's defeat the Whomping Willow. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. No, we wouldn't want that. So, Come back for the next part. See ya.